Now, before these objects, we have a row of live buttons. And these are actually, if I say new and then live.text, these are live.text buttons, which we see right here. Now, if I click on one of these and hit Command I, I get the information of the inspector about it, and we can manipulate its uh, look, its feel, and even the, the words and how it functions a little bit. Now you notice that these ones that I have here before have the red box around them. That means they're in the presentation view and they'll show up as part of the plugin. This device doesn't have that. If I wanted this live.text to show up in the presentation mode, I could right click and say add to presentation. I can click on these buttons and they are gonna function just like we expect. Half note changes the half note up there um, and everything's working just fine. So that's the first kind of big set uh, part of this plug-in was making those things work and the great thing is they'll automatically be MIDI mappable so they're gonna function great for us all right at the outset the problem is if that's all I had these wouldn't change if I had gone up and go like this if I go up to global quantize and change the setting uh, to say half note triplets right now they change but without the first part of this logic that wouldn't happen so the rest that we're looking at here um, from above the buttons is really um, how we can make it so if I use the pull down menu, menu that the buttons change. To make that happen, we'll need a new object called live.observer. 